of which the three national teams, Ghana, Cameroon, and Cote d'Ivoire, we've seen one of them reaching the round of 16. Okay. Yeah. So, so hopefully, maybe we'll get of the eight, maybe one or two. Yeah. And might just sneak their way in. Yes, and even the, this World Cup should be a lesson for African teams and those who did not qualify to know that when we get there in 2026, we should have been done better if the number of teams of African will be increased to eight. Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing in, my, in the studio, Ghana, Cameroon, many feel that those are the teams that should have actually have been in this World Cup, not some of the ones uh, that we saw this time around. And obviously, you can expect that Senegalese, or Senegal fans, rather, were, were rather um, disappointed. And it was a moment of joy while the game was going on, then disappointment towards the very end. Uh, joy at halftime on Thursday when they were watching this match against Colombia. But it turned to despair when Senegal failed to make it to the knockout run. Now, this is a fan zone that, that you know, we are showing you in Dakar. It erupted in jubilation when the referee awarded a penalty in the 17th minute, but the decision was reversed after a video-assisted referee review, and that elation turned to frustration. Now you're seeing a little bit of that frustration on the screen. The Colombian goal in the 74th minute from Yeri Minas header took them by surprise. Oh, yes, there you go. And it was all downhill from there. Now remember, they only needed a point in their final Group 8 game to reach the next round, but they were head home after missing out on the runner spot to Japan because they had a worse disciplinary record. It is the first time in the World Cup's history that a team has been eliminated by the number of yellow cards that they had accrued in the tournament. What a bitter pill to swallow. As I say, at least Kenya, we don't know what it means to feel that pain. We've not even you know, gotten close enough. Our hopes were never up. To begin with, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to say. Mm -hmm. So you say lessons that African teams need to learn. One, concentration. And two, formation of the team, coaches, the skills they're using. Formation of the team, coaches, and the strategy that they're using. More foreign coaches, local coaches? And local coaches will do better. Because if you, if you check on Aliu's, uh, the Senegal manager, he's done better than any other coach of the national team that were sent to World Cup from Africa. Another reason that I mean, even Abe Renard, I mean, we were expecting a lot from him. Yes. Yes. Another reason for African teams performing this small in this World Cup is the fan support. Check out South Americans' fans who are attending their matches and the African fans who are attending their matches at, the, at Russia. How many were they? Africa. They were few. Mm. The, a team like Senegal had at least more fans than Nigeria or even Tunisia. Tunisia, in fact, had the lowest turnout for fans in the, in the World Cup. That tells you that if a team doesn't have that morale and support from the fans, uh, home-based fans, it means that they will not perform better because no one, they, they are not, they are not seeing anyone who is supporting them mm. in the field. So that's okay. another reason for them performing poorly. 